First tonight, the teen who murdered 13 year old Tristan Bailey was sentenced to life in prison, but the criminal proceedings related to her death continue. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Heather Crawford and I'm Jenny Blaylock. Thank you as well for being with us on First Coast News at six today. The final pretrial hearing for Crystal Smith, the mother of Tristan killers, Aiden Fucci. Smith is facing charges of evidence tampering. Police say she washed blood out of Fucci's jeans the night Tristan was killed. Smith did not appear in court today, but Tristan's family was there. Smith has pleaded not guilty. Now, as for Tristan's parents, they say they are grateful for the outpouring of support they have received since their daughter was murdered. That's right. And before they headed to Smith's court hearing this afternoon, I sat down with them this morning and they shared with me how they're carrying on their daughter's legacy and what they want the community to do now. Tristan Bailey's mother describes what the past 22 months have been like in one word. The best word is unbearable. Her 13 year old daughter, the youngest of Stacy and Forrest Bailey's five children, was taken from them on Mother's Day 2021. Everything that you hear about her is true. It's. She had so many friends. She did so many things. Trying to help friends, to be there for people that maybe didn't have friends. A beloved daughter, sister, cheerleader, and friend, Tristan touched so many lives. The St. Johns County community covered in aqua bows, her favorite color, after her death. And every time I see one, it does bring a smile to my face, thinking there's good people out there. What happened Sunday, May 9th, 2021, robbed a sense of security for many families. Tristan and her sister had been planning on making breakfast for their mom to celebrate Mother's Day. When Tristan didn't come downstairs that morning, they realized she was missing. They would later learn she had snuck out the night before to meet Aiden Fucci and a friend. I think I knew within the hour of that 911 call for who she was last with. I had never heard Aiden's name before. My gut was sinking. I felt like I had been punched in the gut. Her body was found hours later in the woods in their Durban Crossing neighborhood. The brutality of the crime hard for them to even comprehend. It would be 22 months before Tristan's classmate, Aiden Fucci, would plead guilty to murdering her. He was just 14 when he stabbed her 114 times. I still can't process that. You don't think that the kid next to you in class is capable of doing something like that. There's so much that Stacy and I want other parents and other kids to know and to learn from this. One thing we've s said many times is the social media and people being very, very careful about who's reaching out to them and who's talking to them because you don't always know who's on the other end. And friend of a friend is not somebody that you want to spend time with. Tristan knew Aiden from Patriot Oaks Academy where they went to school, but not well. They weren't connected on social media until that that evening. The Baileys say they've received hateful messages and even threats online, but far more messages of love and encouragement. And they're focused on what they call feeding the good wolf and carrying on Tristan's legacy by spreading kindness. Look at the good that we've seen amongst our community and realize that the good amongst our fellow neighbor is far greater than the evil we see in the world. And that is what we need to continue to do for each other. And the most important place that that starts is within each of our individual homes. Feeding the good wolf, as they say. Tristan was so loved, and the Baileys want to keep their daughter's spirit alive by giving back to the community through the Tristan Bailey Memorial Foundation. They told me that they plan on hosting self-defense classes and also doing outreach to students going through tough times because they say Tristan was always willing to help others. And tonight at 11, you're going to hear a lot more from them, including their reaction to Fucci's life sentence and being eligible for a review of his sentence in 25 years.